Hello, Cancer. This is your reading for the full moon in Aries. This is for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Cancer. And if you click on this video and it's not anywhere near the full moon in Aries, and you're still resonating for it, this message is for you. Time is not a linear straight line as we, um, you know, see it here on Earth. It is cyclical. It is cycles. We always circle back to energies. So, Cancer, this is your reading. Sun, moon, or rising. And we have quite the mix of energies. We have the moon in Aries. It's currently in Aries now. Full moon will be tomorrow, um, Sunday, October 9th. Aries is all the energy of I am. It's me. It's all about me. And then the, the sun and Venus are both in Libra about our relationships and balance and justice. So this will be an interesting dynamic. The moon is also in a conjunction to Chiron, the wounded healer, which reflects to us our deepest childhood wounds and trauma that are still playing in our subconscious, that we're still interacting with here as adults. All right, Cancer, what's going on for you? We have the Two of Wands. So you are at the point, the precipice, you're thinking about making a change or a new direction. You're planning it. It's kind of going through the mental and maybe taking a couple steps, maybe making a few mental notes. Wands is action, but this is the very beginning stage of like, okay, I think that I'm ready to make this change now. I think I want change. I think I'm desiring change now. It's time for a change. It's time for a new direction. Because everything around you has changed already. And, you know, we want to evolve with the rest of life, right? Okay. Page of Wands, you really are on the path here. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. What I'm getting from this, Cancer, is that whatever path you've been on, you've been doing a lot of juggling, in and out energy, back and forth, maybe connecting to the heart and then staying in the mind kind of thing, like a yo-yo energy. I'll also be balancing a lot of projects and people and other things going on in your life as well. But that's just an outer manifestation of the internal uh, disharmony that we create when we're not, it's like one foot in, one foot out, not really committing to a path yet, not fully committed to a certain path yet. Um, the, yeah. So you have made steps. Which is progress. We're the world. Eight of Wands. So something is coming in for you, Cancer. Some kind of incoming communication of some sort. Or just maybe Mercury going direct. Some kind of insight that you're finally seeing. Uh, a little deeper into something. As the world... Um, you know, as the cycles are changing, as you're changing, evolving and growing, you're also integrating these new parts, these, this new wisdom, this medicine that you've developed in your healing journey, which yeah, is beautiful. <laughs> cycles are shifting. You are moving to a higher ground. You're moving away from this pain or, or, whatever is causing you to juggle in between um, older versions of yourself and this newer uh, evolved version of yourself. 
Let's go a little deeper into that. I can hear my, one second, Cancer. I'm sorry, I hear my cat. Just a second. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> All right, we're back. So for cancer, let's keep going here. Ah, so it's like going to be new incoming communication insight that is really going to assist you in moving to completely moving to higher ground, a, a, a new way of feeling about your path that will really assist you in moving forward deeper into the, the path that you desire to be in so that you're not juggling and flip-flopping around. It's almost like you're wrapping up a lot of deep, painful lessons, life lessons. Yeah. Mm. So, with the Two of Wands, we have memories of love. This is nostalgia. So, this is what's got you thinking about a new direction, a new way of being a new path something from the past is coming back around in the memory and and in the feeling sector of um someone that you truly cherish and love or something um and the page of wands is linking to harmony so maybe you're currently in a harmonious relationship or Whatever this is involving is a relationship that you're desiring harmony and balance within. We'll get a little deeper into that. Why is cancer juggling? Because the page of wands is still, it, it, it is deeper into a path. It's still a page, it's still juvenile it's not fully uh actualized this is all about self-understanding self-actualization self-realization cancer these journeys that we take here and on life even though we have other people in our lives and and acting in our lives it is a solo mission <laughs> for the most part you are in the driver's seat here why is cancer juggling Mm -hmm. Well, so that one just kind of came out. Partnerships and alliances. Cancer, there's another person in your life, a partner, somebody you're working close with, that pulls you off path from time to time. Pulls you into their path. And that's where the split energy is. This is a lesson for you, for sure. Check, make sure that you're not enacting codependence, codependency patterns or people pleasing patterns. Uh, I'm not getting that from this reading, but there is someone that you're involved with that is that pulls you off your path from time to time. Um, the waiting game with the world. So yeah, you've been waiting for somebody to come around, waiting for somebody to maybe have their own awakening or understanding. Um, but that's really self-defeating because when we wait for anything, when we wait for another person, we wait for something to change, we're gonna be waiting a while. The change has to go come from within you. You're waiting on yourself, Cancer. And what you're waiting on, and this communication will help. Or maybe you've been waiting for somebody 
to communicate to you and it's caused you great pain, suffering and silence. <sighs> oh, I don't like this reading for you either, Cancer, but this is deep pain you're already working through. You're already working through this. Um, and, and know that there is no reason for you to suffer in silence. It is time to express yourself. Let this, let these emotions out and follow the trail of them. Where do they take you even deeper than the current person and situation? It's pulling, it should be pulling memories of your childhood up for you. If you're allowing what the energy is doing, especially with Chiron, when we just stay on the surface of things, we we don't get to see the cosmic mirror of what it's actually reflecting to us to look deeper internally at ourselves to heal. We can make these changes within ourselves if we see the blind spots, if we see what's in the subconscious. Unfortunately, we don't always see what's in the subconscious. Other people will reflect that to us. That is the beauty of relationships. 11, 11 on the clock right there, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, heartache and loss. So you're still in this pain, the heart chakra below that. And, and maybe even coming from the heart, your heart is hurting. Don't wait around, Cancer, for someone else to come around. This is the energies asking you to go deeper deeper into your into your pain what else can we tell cancer here i feel it i actually feel like i want to cry right now and i'm sorry for whatever pain it is that you're processing but know that everything will be okay it will be harmonious this is the universal way sometimes and it's like when we're stubborn when we don't see it it takes more pain to get to the root of the pain you want to get to the root. If you're pulling weeds and you're not pulling the roots out, they're going to keep growing. This is the same thing with your subconscious trauma and pain. If you don't get to the root of it, you're going to continue to manifest and create it in all kinds of relationships and scenarios. All right, Cancer. And maybe on the outside, you, you know... Trying to push through it, yeah. We're going to tap into what brings you joy and happiness. What is it that helps you bring yourself back to life again, Cancer? This will help also. Because, um... Oh, there's something very healing in that for you. This is also the card of hope and bringing out, keeping hope alive. But truly, this is the universe trying to say, I want you to go deeper cancer on this. Make it about you and not anybody else. This is your journey. What else for cancer? Oh, I just got a headache. Cancer, I feel like you're really stressed out. Just really... There is a new start here for you. You're not really latching onto it though. You're still kind of stuck in the past, your past choices and decisions that you've made. Um, this could talk about regret or guilt or shame that you're still carrying. You want to release that because there is something very new that's just at the horizon. It won't open. The door won't open until you close the door of the past. And you can't wait, Cancer. You can't wait for another door to open. You got to close the first door of your past. Then the new door will open. Of something different. You want to shift the energy of what's going on. You want to go deeper and you want to close the door of the past. Allow your intuition to kick in and help you too. Uh, and inspire you to make great changes, to make the changes that are necessary for you, um, to push past this. Yeah, five of voices and three of voices. Ah, cancer. So there's still fragmented parts of you. You're still split energy and you want to bring 
go deeper into the inner child, into the protector, into the inner critic even. Reconcile all of your parts. Because right now you're still, even on the start, you're in this heartache and loss, this betrayal, this pain is consuming your energy. Whether you're showing it or not, or even recognizing it in yourself, it is consuming your energy. So let me get an advice card for you, Cancer. Very challenging um, and powerful, impactful full moon energy, for sure, for all signs. Important to go deep. Very important that we go deep. Deeper than the surface of what life is showing us. There's a huge lesson in it. And it has, it's linked to your inner child. It's linked to your inner child's wounds, your Chiron. The stories you tell yourself, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Grief. <laughs> I'm going to read this from the book for you, Cancer. It says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah, I was feeling that, too. There's some loss here that is just... Um, you're having a hard time getting past right now. Know that this will shift. It will change for you. And maybe there's something in this that will help that. But I feel your pain, Cancer, and I'm sending you love and light and healing energy to help assist you in your grief. <clears throat> Nothing is gone forever. The belief that we have lost someone or something is merely an illusion to assist us in learning to appreciate our having it had it in the first place. The emotion of grief and the sense of loss are absolutely real, but that is the point. The lesson of loss is not about the actual physical separation because the parting is temporary and illusory. The point of the lesson is to acknowledge that the bonds of love never end and that, oh my God, the bonds of love never end and that we have not been abandoned. When you accept in your heart that you will be re reunited with everything you have ever loved, it will give you the ability to move beyond your grief and derive something beneficial from the experience. To wallow in grief is to pass up the opportunity that you and your soul family have devised and learn nothing from it. Instead, allow your grief to take you to a place of deeper understanding. I have the chills all over cancer. That just spells out your entire reading here. So I hope that that was helpful. This was helpful for you. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That is a nice energetic exchange. You help this channel out and help get the messages out to more and more people who may need to hear this message. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can book through my website. That information is in the description box below. It is bethechange333.com. Take care, Cancer. Bye.